everybody, how's life as a guy? You doing? My name is Jeff Laba, and today we're playing Shape of America, Episode 1. Now, this is kind of funny because uh, Patrick actually recommended this game to me. He was playing it on his channel, and he was like, he went to see what I would what I would done in this situation. But uh, I know very little. I watched one episode of his, but I'll go ahead and I'll leave a description down below. Invitation to the party. So that way you guys can watch his videos on this. Stan Blantler. Good evening. Oh, <laughs> it's Sunday, October 31st, 1999, and you're watching the ABC News Evening Edition. I'm your host, Stan Blenther, Blenther and here's the news. He looks like Archer. <laughs> We've only got one year left until the presidential election, and the race is already a close one. President Berlin, Bolin, Ber, Bolin, Ber, oh God, Bolin, is finishing his second term, and there is already more than enough candidates looking to fill his shoes. The latest polls show the current vice president and potential Democratic uh, candidate, Ale, or no, <laughs> Art Gale, is in the lead. He promises to continue Berlin's streak of economic, economic growth. Whew, whew. Art Gale. As vice president, I was invested in forwarding uh, environmental protection, improving our uh, educational system, and creating the internet. <laughs> who, wait, who's, who creates the internet? I was about to say, I thought the internet was already a thing by 1999. Meanwhile, the most popular Republican candidate is governor of Texas, Buck Jared Jr. Son of former President Buck Gerard. Gerard. Hi there. Uh, we live in the post Cold War era, but even if the evil empire may have gone, or may have gone, evil still exists. There are still many people out there who would like to threaten our freedom. But it's still early. Both parties have a wide field of contenders, and new candidates are still joining the fray. Presidential Clinton Berlin announced today that global internet assigned names and number associations will take full responsibility of managing internet protocol numbers and the domain named, named system. <laughs> Clint. Today, God, I can't do his voice. Today we're living in historical times. Our economy is stronger than ever before. The internet market especially is expanding at an ever-increasing speed. And due to its growth, inst institutions, institution, eh, institutions' responsibilities for its oversight and maintenance have to be recognized to become more efficient and economical. The president, the president, uh, appointed Seth Kilter, Kiltel, Kiltel, <sighs> former director of the National Institute of Technology, ha as the person responsible for the transfer. Now. Let's talk about something lighter. Today is Halloween. So get your candy ready for this year's trick or treaters. Our journalist Kay Andrews is in the streets of Veilberg to check our participation are going. Wait, how to check how participations are going. There are already many kids in the street, all wearing their scary costumes. Each one of them hopes to collect more candy than the previous year. A little boy in a vampire costume told me that he is going to suck all the sweets out of his neighborhood. Thank you, Kai. What did I say earlier? Anyways, back to our studios. <laughs> I screwed that up. I screwed that up! I was about to say, Hey, waiter! Yeah, what about it? Can I get some service over here? <sighs> yes. How may I help you? Young man, you won't achieve anything in life if there's only 
if you only watch TV and pay no attention to what is really going on in the world around you. What they show you, TV, is very little to do with real life. Mind my words, anyway. Could I, uh, could you bring me the check? Very well, sir. That waiter, that was me, or er, it was me. That's right. It was into the millennium. The American economy was booming. The internet was radically altering the world as we knew it. And I was serving some old man. What was I supposed to say? Oh. Ah, here it is. <laughs> here it is, your check. Ha! Huh? What was that? You should learn to be more courteous if you expect to receive a tip. You know what? Here's a tip, old man. Stop being a jerk. <laughs> so, you've been watching the TV news. Are you uh, interested in politics? I mean, I'm not. You know, let's go for it. I'm not. I'm not. Well, no, I'm really not interested in politics. There was just nothing else to watch. Remember. Just because you don't have an interest in politics doesn't mean politics doesn't have an interest in you. Just because I don't eat hot dogs doesn't mean hot dogs don't want to be eaten by me. That is exactly right, old man. I've, I have seen <laughs> what you're saying. Anyways, thanks for your answer. You know, I ask about it because I am a politician myself. I'm interested in what regular people think about politics. I, I like to keep in touch with my, or with my grassroots elector, <laughs> electorates, electorates. Ah ha! Um, what can you tell me about politics? Who are you? What can you tell me about? Po Did you like the food? <laughs> All right, let's bite. Uh, what can you tell me about being a politician? <laughs> well. After all these years, I think that politics is all just a show. Yeah, me too. You know, it's it's starting to become like a giant uh, American Idol type deal. Uh, anyways, you never can say what you really think, but only what is good for your party, for your country. All just show, all just one big show. You only say what people want to hear, and it's all smoke and mirrors. Power is nothing. But a shadow on the wall. But a small person casts a mighty large shadow. Well, that's pretty profound. Well, who are you? Uh, could I ask? Who exactly are you, sir? Huh. <laughs> Senator uh, Bernard Virgil. At your service. I'm a member of the Republican Party for over 40 years. <laughs> Did you like the food at least? <laughs> Did you like your meal, sir? <laughs> Thanks for asking. Food was fine. Nothing special, but I'm here to sit in peace. Not for fancy food. In fact, I should be at an official banquet right now, but I'm not in the mood for talking to a bunch of people. Well, then why are you a politician? <laughs> uh, I guess I should go. I think I should go. Wait a minute. Where are you going? I'm only... <laughs> wait. I'm the only client here. And I've got a proposition for you. I'm a bit bored and like, uh, and I like nothing better than a good discussion. <sighs> Do you have a moment to talk with me? You might learn something besi and, uh, besides, you'll get a special tip. All right, well, I, uh, why not? Marvelous! You know what? By the way, let, let me just stop you right there. I have things to do. I got the kitchen to help clean. I have other tables I got on my end. I understand that you're only a person here, but we got to get set up for tomorrow. We're about to be closing here, sir. Happens at 7-Eleven all the time. People think that all you do is stand behind a counter all day. We don't just stand behind a counter. We got a lot of shit to do. Ha! <laughs> Let's start. Throw down! Oh, God. Are we starting a Yu-Gi-Oh battle? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Me versus the old man, Bernie Sanders. <laughs> Nicholas Disma versus Bernard Virgil. Uh, show tutorial because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. 
Throwdowns are a form of discussion that is triggered when you have different opinions uh, than your opponent. During the throwdown, it is not important who is right, but who is the most confident in what they- Oh! Confidence is key! Yeah! Throwdown lasts for a specific number of rounds. When a throwdown ends, the winner is who has the most confidence points oh god yes a game that understands that confidence is key during every round each character can perform one action okay so this just became pokemon the action called abuse decreases your opponent's confidence there are a few types of abuse standard provoke distract and criticize each type of abuse deals different amount of damage to uh different personality types well, he's very cocky. Other actions is boasting. It allows you to increase your own confidence. Okay. There are three different types of boasting. The stronger ones have the higher chance of failure. All right. Reflect gives you an opportunity to prepare for your opponent's action. You can predict if he is going to perform an abusive or boasting action. If you were right, his actions will be reflected and he will damage himself. Ridicule devices are powerful actions, but they can be used only once. Ooh. Although, you can buy them outside of the throwdown. Oh, so if I don't have them, I don't have them. Temporalized gives you extra rounds. Destruction deals massive damage to your opponent, and ex exaltations, exaltations, uh, ex exaltation, exaltations boost your confidence points. Ah, I'm sorry. When your opponent has attacked you, you can use counter argument, which will restore your confidence points. Repeating the same actions can make them weaker. Try a different combination of actions against different types of uh, enemies. Philomatic? Oh my god, what are these words? Melancholic. Okay, I know that one. How about we say uh, dick, diddly, dodge, and mopey? That's how we do that. <laughs> oh, I gotta learn. I gotta, I gotta learn to read. Uh, each one acts in a different way and is vulnerable to different actions. Good luck. First round. Fight. Oh, I go first. <laughs> give up. <laughs> Just give up. All right, let's try to boast. All right, this has a 100% chance, so we're going to go ahead and go for it. Yeah! Next list is boasting his self-confidence rise for 3.21. Oh! Oh, okay. He boasted his confidence. Okay, I was like, what the hell? All right, all right, I get you. All right. We're gonna try criticize. Okay. I don't think that's gonna be good. It's not very effective. Yeah, that's right. Okay, now he's in the lead. I'm gonna have to go ahead and this is the last round. I don't have any, okay. Uh, we're gonna have to boast. We're gonna lose this one, aren't we? Oh, shit! Woo! Confidence is king! I'm the king, baby! <laughs> Boasting successful, Nicholas self-confidence has risen, risen for a 12.23! Oh, oh, little, little Bernard Virgil, your boasting gets you a 2.41 confidence points. Final right round. All right. I'm confident of where I stand. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try another abuse. I'm going to try a standard. Yep. Woo! Dealing damage. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, oh, Nicholas, Nicholas, or my bad, my bad, Bernard you think you're going to be doing good? Discussion ends. <laughs> 64.04. And Bernard's 54.14. I win! <laughs> 100 plus experience. Yay! 
you got me. I think it's time to retire if a waiter can defeat me in a discussion. <laughs> We're going to rule the world. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Or perhaps you are a super talented person. Maybe you should be a politician. Who knows? <laughs> okay, I won't bother you anymore. You can go back to work. Thank you for the conversation. Uh, no, thank you, sir, for kicking your ass! <laughs> Alright, let's go. Ah, oh, that was amazing. Hey, Nick. The manager was here. He said, uh, you can leave early today. Well, that's great. I hope that our last client left a large tip for me. Okay, well, cool. Let's go ahead and pick up... What's this? A letter. By the way, he left a $200 freaking tip! Seth Kelter. Director of... Glo wait. Director... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it in his voice. Director of Global Internet. Uh, assigns names and numbers associated. And... Gerthel... Gerthrel... Donovan... 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 Uh... Director uh, of the National Internet Numbering Authority. We have the pleasure to invite Mr. Bernard Virgil to the Grand Hotel to celebrate their fusion on Sunday evening. The October, wait, the 31st of October, 1999. Well, that was really, you know what? I, I want to say that he left that for us on purpose. Hey, look! This client left his invitation to the par to a party. It's some serious event, and it's today. I don't know what to do. Do you think I should go? Go there. I have no idea, dude. I have no idea, dude. Uh, do what you want. Actually, I could take it if you don't want to go. Ah, eh, fuck you. No. No, I'm going to the party. Screw you. No. <laughs> No, I'll go there. I'm curious how this kind of party will look. And maybe I will have a chance to eat and drink for free. Alright, bye bye Oh, yeah. Alright, is this... We got two... Oh, we got $200. We're do, we doing great. We're doing great. Yeah, let's go visit. This is so cool. So, <laughs> like any... Uh, Young man who decided to dip out of his shift, I went to the party. On that day, I had no idea that I was standing on the threshold of my new life. I like, uh, you guys can't see it, but I have my hand hanging here like the cool guy. Good evening, sir. Good evening. May I see your invitation? Sure, here it is. I I'm playing it cool. Cause I, I'm wearing my tux, you know, I'm cool. Thank you. Ah, uh-huh. Please come in, sir. The party has already started. <laughs> you got, you got it. You got it. I'm coming in. I'm, I'm going to be doing some great stuff with my, my, my mental stuff. So I'm, I'm, I'm intelligent. All right. I'm, okay. I guess, oh, I got to click. Oh God. Look at that cheetah print. This is the 1990s. Oh, hello. Hmm. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I'm that cool guy. I uh, just... Can I have a glass of wine, please? What? Do you think I look like a waiter? <laughs> well, actually, yes. Your suit looks like a waiter's uniform. Oh, my God. Listen, I'm not a waiter. I have an invitation. I'm Nicholas Disma. I'm a guest. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Disma. That's embarrassing. I hope you'll forgive my little blunder. <laughs> oh, wait. Is that supposed to happen? I thought we were supposed to talk more. Oh, here comes a waiter. Wine, sir? Oh, free wine? Sure. Let me give it a try. Gotta swirl it in the cup. Hold on. Swirl it in the cup. I'm not fancy. I only got a Pepsi can. <laughs> it seems delicious. What the f- Hey, you! Be ca- I mean, hey, you! Be careful! You could have spilled that on my suit! 
<laughs> what? Me? <laughs> it's you that hit me. <laughs> you shameless sludge touch sludge sludge? What the hell is that? Defend myself! Don't you dare call me that! <laughs> is that a problem? I'll call you even I'll call you even much worse if I feel like it. So, let's see who is better. Oh my god, here we go! Throwing down! Oh, we're on a second throwdown. Get get those dukes up! Watch, I'm gonna go be I'm gonna be ready to have a discussion with them and he's gonna punch me in the face. <laughs> Nicholas Desma versus Owen Outfield. <laughs> First round. All right, all right, hold on. Now, now he's an asshole. Now, if I remember correctly from the other thing, uh, we have Dick, Diddly, Do, and Mopey. So, he's already got 60 points above me. So, I, I if I do an abuse, He's gonna take it really quick because he, he's 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 snappy. You know what I mean? Be very snappy. So he's gonna end up throwing an abuse first, right? So let's reflect his abuse. So huh, you saying you're gonna attack me? Oh, damn! Ouch! That hurt. Okay, I didn't see that coming. Let's do a standard. All right. I'm a dependent human or something like that. I can uh, determine. I'm a generous one. Uh, okay. You're, you're a butthole. That's what that is. You are a grand butthole. All right. I can't abuse him because he seems to immediately. All right. You know what? Let's try it. Let's try it anyways. Distract. Yeah. <laughs> Distracted him. Yeah. See? A norm. It's a normal effect. Whoa. Whoa. He shot back. That fire! I still need 10. I still need 10. And there's one, there's only one way I can do this. Do I? Ah, I knew it! And he shot back! All right, no, no, okay, now I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Criticize, damn. Not very affected. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I only got two rounds. I gotta turn this around. There's only one way to do this. I'm gonna have to play my trap card. Sir, I am awesome. Yeah! Yeah! Ha! This confidence is key. You have stepped on my trap card. Oh, God. Ah, that hurt my face. Final round. Oh, God. Okay, so I gotta do... I gotta do something amazing here. If I don't do something amazing here, he, he's been attacking lately. So, since he's been attacking, let's go for a standard. Yeah, okay, he, he, I'm, I'm gonna end up losing if he if he ends up boasting. I'm hoping, God dang it, he bait me by five foot, you son of a bitch. I knew it. <sighs> Discussion ends, I lose. I was defeated by point five points, no rewards. Um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> so just shut up, you stupid fool. Well, I am sorry. Damn. 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 I should have. <clears throat> All right. Excuse me, sir. May I speak with you? I saw your encounter with Mr. Outfield. <laughs> He's not worth the wine he spilled. Huh. <laughs> not worth the wine. Funny. By the way, I'm Stealth Kilter, uh, the new director of Gianna. Gianna. I organized this party. Nice to meet you. I'm Nicholas Disma. Excuse me for asking, but security told me that uh, you've come here using Bernard Virgil's invitation. Can you please explain why? I wouldn't say I was his friend. Either though I kicked his ass in a battle. I'm not his assistant. He asked me to be here. He gave me the invitation. That is basically asking. <laughs> he just asked me to be here and gave me this invitation to come. <laughs> I understand. He, see, he, he must see potential in you and he wouldn't be interested or he wouldn't be interested. That's a good sign. 
So, why couldn't Bernard come? He was not feeling well. He said he was tired. He has an important meaning. Ah, I'm gonna say he wasn't feeling well. You know, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stick up for him. You know, he stuck up for me about sending me here. I stick up for him. He was not feeling well. No, that's a shame. I was hoping, or I hope it's nothing serious. He has some heart problems, you know. No, I didn't know. Oh, God. Well, Nicholas, how are you liking the party? Hey, Nick. It's me, Rachel. <laughs> can you introduce me to your... F oh, my bad. My I, 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 I wasn't paying attention. Uh, can you introduce me to your friend? Sure, join us. Sure. Seth, this is my friend, um, e or er, Rachel. Rachel Crown. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Kilter. Kilter? I'm a personal coach, motivational speaker, neuro linguistic trainer <laughs> neuro neuro linguistic trainer and spiritual healer <laughs> i'm experienced in personal developments i help people discover and improve their inner selves and achieve their goals would you like my card <laughs> well um it, uh, gosh miss rachel ah uh, i would like to be speaking to you um, that's very interesting, Miss Miss Crown, but I'm sorry. I need to go. Okay. See you later, Nick. It was nice to meet you. I'm sure we'll meet on another occasion. Oh, by the way, greet Bernard for me. Oh, you're already leaving? But I haven't given you my card yet. Oh, God, you're, you're not a dick. This one. And he's gone. By the way... Thank you for the in for introducing me. I won't forget it. I, I owe you a favor. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Sure. I'll take it. <laughs> I'm sorry for mistaking you for a waiter. You must be someone important if you know Seth Kilter. Okay. Who's this guy? Hey, Rachel. How are you doing? Oh, hi, Mike. Thanks. I'm always great. Be my new friend, Nicholas. Nice to meet you, Nicholas. I'm Michael Ken, founder and CEO of Interweb Joint Stock Company. Do you know that Nicholas is a friend of Seth Kilter? Really? This must be my lucky day. We must talk to, with one another. I might have a deal for Nicholas. Or for you, Nicholas. Okay. So, I'll leave you two alone. I think I saw Gina Holloway, and I'm pretty sure that she needs a coach. See you later. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Nicholas, I'm trying to expand my business, but to do so, I need a good I need good connections with politicians and government officials. I need people who can who can uh, re represent my company and talk to influential politicians for money, of course. I'm so glad I did this voice. Are you interested? Yeah. I, yeah. Interwebs Stock Company. That means I'll be helping out the businesses. Not sure if I want to help you with that. Um, I need to know more. There we go. I need to know more. Hey, you know, I need to know more about, um, it to be able to decide. Come to my office tomorrow and we'll talk about it. I'll tell you all the details then. Here's my card. Contacts added. I'm sure that we can help each other. See you tomorrow. All my voices are going to end up sounding the same, aren't they? That entire situation was too much for me. I needed to leave, but I was stopped by one more person. I like how we're... Oh, God! Morpheus! Morpheus stopped us! We're not gonna take no blue or red pill, man! Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Eh. Excuse me, sir. So, you are the person whom Bernard gave his invitation. Yeah, that's me. 
That's interesting. I'm curious. How did that happen? I'll remember you, Mr. Dismal. Goodbye. Oh, no. Uh-huh. Oh, a thousand experience! Oh, I, 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 I made it to level one. Received learning point. Yay! <laughs> okay! The next day, I was woken by the telephone. Oh, God! Okay, Archer. Nicholas. Nicholas. I'm calling to tell you that I don't have, uh, you don't have to come into work today. Actually, you don't have to come in ever again because you're fired! What? But, but why? Why? Because yesterday you left early without asking my permission, that's why. Screw it! Forget it! I'm quitting this shitty job, you can shove it! I have a new job offer, a serious one. Just watch, I'm going to be, I'm going to make some real money and be someone important. <laughs> what a joke. Maybe you'll become the president of the American Union of States. That, that was weird of saying, hold on, the president of the American Union of States. That's, ouch, that hurt on the inside to say it like that. I could care less what you do. <laughs> you can keep your suit. Consider that your final payment. Hey, actually, I want my paycheck. I gotta pay rent. <laughs> I don't want to see you in my restaurant ever again. That is pretty freaking drastic. I mean, yeah, I, just, I basically told him to shove the job up his ass, but, you know. And that's how I once again became jobless. But this time, fortunately, I had this card. I had nothing else to lose. I had nothing to lose from visiting this guy. And... That was the beginning of my career. Ow, 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 it's so freaking, ah! All right, well, with that being said, no, no, I'm stopping here. Hey, I hope you guys liked that first episode. Um, this is pretty new to me, and I'm so sorry I'm messing up everybody's name. That's just, that's just how I do. But anyways, I hope you guys liked that video. If you guys did, and you wanna see more, Patrick has the same series on his side. I'll go ahead uh, on his channel. I'll go ahead and put it down in the description below. And if you guys want to play this, it's on Steam. I think it's like 14 bucks. I think. I, no, no, no. I think it was like four bucks. <laughs> I'm mistaken. But anyways, um, yeah, that's it. Confidence is key. And you have a wonderful day. Be safe. Enjoy life. And remember, confidence is key. And I will see you next time here on Snickerdoodle. Remember, sharing is caring. Uh, later! See ya! Bye! Why do I keep messing up my outro? It's the same thing!